Queen of Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers. Hello everyone, welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, there's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. Don't really want to see this card out first, but I'm really bad at commitment. This is something that could be just past energy with your person. And there's been like a real back and forward energy between you because they do want this commitment with you, but they're just so bad at being in a kind of commitment because they're just not used to that, I feel, this person. So it could have been a bit of in and out energy here. It doesn't mean they don't want commitment though, I'm being told to tell you. Did something flip over there? Oh no, that was weird. I thought it did. Mount Divine Masculine, what else have you got to say? I see a little part of you and everyone I meet. They're still, it's funny, you know, looking for you within other people. So if they're trying to have this commitment with you and they just weren't ready and they kind of messed around, and maybe went with someone else here. It's they're still trying to search for you and other people. You know, this is why being with anyone else is not working out for them. It doesn't fulfill them. They're still trying to look for you in those other people. They are not satisfied because really deep down, who they want is you. They want their divine feminine. And they're not getting it. So this is why they're like comparing you to kind of everyone and anyone here. It's really hard for me to open up. This person doesn't like to express how they feel. I feel like every time you try and speak to them about anything to do with like commitment and your connection, they it's like they change the subject, they just clam up. Maybe you're kind of in a good flow of communication and if you try and push it and mention anything like that, they'll just kind of ghost for a while, you know? This is the kind of vibe I'm getting from this person. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is basically the same card. This is just what I was saying with this. I see a little part of you and everyone I meet, like them comparing everyone else to you. Here it is. I keep comparing others to you. They do. They do. So not getting any satisfaction with anyone else. Um, They're realising, trying to substitute you with other people doesn't work. Let's see what else we get here. The thought of you still does things to me. So basically this is a divine masculine who can't get you off of their mind at all. And it doesn't matter if they try and be with anyone else. It's like they will see your face almost, you know. Um, they've run off to so many different people, it feels like this person. And every time they start to think about their divine feminine, like, you know, my divine feminine wouldn't do that to me. My Divine Feminine treats me better than you. You know, anything like that. It's just, they can't find fulfillment with anyone else. I'm gonna use some Game of Thrones cards. See what we get to go with this story, but the commitment thing's an issue for them, you know? So they've tried to go for kind of lustful, uncommitted, Connections, karmic connections, but literally cannot get you off of their mind. 
Mm, interesting. Yep, so we've got the Ten of Swords here. Earth, Earth? Air Energy, sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Traitor on this card. This is quite a dark card, you know. It is the ending of a painful cycle, thank goodness. But it feels like um, the other people that this Divine Masculine surrounded themselves with really stabbed them in the back, betrayed them. And you never did that. And that's why another reason why they're comparing you to these other people, they realise that, like, my Divine Feminine has never betrayed me. I can always trust her. She's been by my side for so long. You know, and it's making them get in their feels about you here. Thought you still does things to me. Knight of Cups showing up. So this group, they're going to be taking movement towards you to express this because although we got this, it's really hard for me to open up. They're realising that they have to overcome that. And they just have to try and express how they feel. They have to try and open up with you, you know, and they want to as well. Because... Them not doing that and them trying to run away from this connection, be with other people that they thought it was maybe an easier route. <laughs> you know, this is all that happened to them. This is, I mean, severely betrayed by people. Getting a lot of depression around this as well. But yeah, I mean, 10 swords in their back there. So... I mean, this person's feeling really romantic and loving towards you, okay? So, still wearing his armour here, and it's over his face as well. So, I feel like not only have they really been through a battle here, it's going to be quite hard for this person to open up, you know? They're kind of covering, covering their mouth and everything here, but they're still going to do it. They're going to make themselves do this here, because they want to offer you this cup of love. They're going to push themselves. Exactly. Okay, so they're going to get in to their divine masculine power here. The emperor showing up. Okay, so this is Aries energy as well. And Cancer Pisces Scorpio for the Knight of Cups. They're, They're going to kind of stop this stubbornness that they've had and, and show up stronger, more determined here to kind of, um, it's like, let you in. It's funny, even though the Emperor is wearing armour and the Knight of Cups is wearing armour, it's like they're determined to drop that armour and let you in. It's like they've just realised they have to. Otherwise, they will just continue to be around people that they can't trust. Queen of Coins, Earth Energy, Taurus, or Virgo, Capricorn. So you are this trustworthy person. You are this loving, caring, loyal, divine feminine. You know, you are... The one that they can count on, I'm being told. You're the one that's always been there for them. I'm getting like you're quite a maternal person. And this person needs someone like that. Like, this Divine Masculine needs someone who is quite mature like this. Who would guide them. Who would have like a kind of motherly protection over them. You know, this is how I feel like they see you. Um, Someone really strong. Someone who is of extremely high value. I mean, look at the size of the pentacle in her hand as well. I feel like you're really hard working, um, in touch with nature as well. You know, all those good things. Like you're 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 steady as a rock. It feels like this person. I feel like is divine masculine has been used to a lot of really flaky people. 
before and you are so grounded and strong you're the one they can trust you are the one they can trust i feel like they have their defense mechanisms up so high this divine masculine this group of divine masculines because they've been really betrayed by a lot of people here throughout their life three of spears which is basically three of wands in this deck fire energy aries leo sagittarius so this divine masculine um has been longing for you you know it's like daydreaming over you looking out into the distance wishing that they hadn't betrayed you you know some of them betrayed you yeah um and to them it feels like you feel really far away to them, you know? I mean, you could even be long distance here. You could be like a physical distance, but it's almost like your energy is so removed from them at the moment. Because I just feel like you are doing your own thing. You've kind of withdrawn your energy from them quite a lot and they're feeling that emotional like distance. <clears throat> they're kind of really struggling without you, I feel. Hmm. Hence why they they know they're gonna have to open up and show you how they feel. I mean, I don't even feel like it's just tell you how they feel. I feel like it's show you how they feel because actions speak louder than words at the end of the day, and they want to do that to show that you can actually trust them now. The moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. They had a lot from you, they had a lot of secrets. Again, I just feel like this, this wall around them, around their heart, they built this up so strongly around themselves and they didn't really let you in. But they want to now, it's like they so desperately want to now. I'm actually going to get some more Twin Flame Oracles. Because I feel like this Divine Masculine has something else to say. I was reminded of your scent recently. Again, it's all about everyone they see, everything they see, something always reminds them of you. Something always brings their heart and mind back to you. I feel like they really want to, to work on rebuilding your trust to them as well because they feel like you don't trust them at the moment because of the way they've behaved and they want to change that, I feel like. You still hold a piece of my heart, exactly. Um, it's almost like... It feels like this is their heart, almost like you're in their heart and they're in your heart, you know? Um, You've never left their heart, even though they've tried to push you away, tried to be with other people. You have never, that's the, the thing. That's the crux of this message. You've never left their heart and that's why they cannot move on and they cannot be with anyone else and they cannot stop seeing you in, and comparing other people to you and, and being reminded of you because you're still so much in their heart. Just got caught up in the moment. I am getting with this group of divine masculines that they may have had. It, it feels like karmic relationships where the karmic person really chased after this divine masculine. It can, yeah, can be through. 
a third party, this the three of, of wands here. Um and it feels like your your divine masculine just kind of had their head turned by that bit. They probably had quite low self-esteem and liked the attention of this third party. Um, they, it's, it feels like they needed validated from a lot of people because their self-worth was so low. But as you can see, this Divine Masculine's turned his back on this third party here. So moving on from that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. They've kind of been through the mill. Nine of Wands here. This is the Wounded Soldier. We've got a lot of kind of imagery of of this person in armor, like in a battle. Maybe your divine masculine is in like the military, but. Um, ooh, I'm just getting a really kind of um, dark vibe from this. Um, I just keep hearing those words, been through the mill here. I mean, they really have been through a war, it feels like, um, a war with other people. A war within themselves. And they're clinging on to hope here. They're clinging on to this hope. That you will still be. You know available to them. We've got the Queen of Cups here. So we've got the Queen of Coins. Queen of Cups. Both very like maternal intuitive loving queens here i'm not getting the vibe that this is you know like a karmic and divine feminine i feel this is all your energy of how they they see you um and it feels like they're hoping that you will still have a place in your heart for them because you're very much still in their heart and they're just like are you you know am i still in yours Will will you take this cup of love? Can you see that, guys? The reflection is offering the cup here, but are you going to take it? Because she's not actually looking at that cup being offered. So I feel like this Divine Masculine is a little bit worried that by the time they show up, you're not actually going to accept this love from them. You know, they're kind of worried about that. Hmm. Page of coins. So they're going to be reaching out with a message, but I, I get this because it's a page. Yes, yeah, younger, more childlike energy here, but it feels they don't feel like they have as much to offer, enough to offer as they'd like to. You know, they see themselves as a page of coins and they see you as the queen of coins okay so there's definite self-worth issues going on with this divine masculine i f i feel like this has been an issue for you guys like because that's how they see themselves like oh i'm just a page and she's a queen you know and, and having you up on this pedestal and things they've probably said to you numerous times that you're too good for them because that's how they truly feel where they're going to be calling, texting, that type of thing, reaching out. May, they may not feel like it's enough, but it's a start, you know. Um, I, f I feel like they're honestly a little bit intimidated by you. <laughs> um, because you're definitely the more confident and you are actually the stronger out of the two I'm getting here um yeah but reaching out a little text you're like hi you know are you 
would you still be interested in me? That type of thing. It really feels like quite a tentative energy coming through here. At first, anyway. At first. You know, we're kinda gonna test the waters a bit here. Once they know it's kind of safe for them to express their love, then you'll see this Knight of Cups coming through, I feel like. Yeah. Look at the bottom of the deck here. Ooh. Six of Swords, more air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So yeah, this is, um, it's them being guided by Source, you know, whoever you subscribe to. Back to you. Back to where 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 they belong, where they should be. You know, it feels like this divine masculine was away in these choppy waters somewhere <laughs> that did not serve him, that caused him all this conflict. You know, this, this nine of swords here caused him to be stabbed in the back. And you know what? They are being guided back to to where where their heart always has been, you know, which is with you. And they're and they're wanting this is about movement towards you, movement forward. So they're wanting to move this connection forward, progress it, get into karma waters with you. You know, travel, it could be like I said, there could be some long distance twins watching this, I feel. And you, you maybe are literally separated by water, like an ocean here. Um, but yeah, this is about wanting to move to better times with you. Better times. I'm going to get one more card, actually. Because mm -hmm. this is the energy they're in just now, okay? Really unhappy with the way they've manifested their life. Discontent. So there's more water, energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I, I really do feel like this is what this group is worrying about, that they will come forward to offer their cup and you just might not be interested. I mean, this is what I was getting from the Queen of Cups card as well. And it's the same person here you know it's like the divine feminine here and in both cards not really looking at this cup of love and you know this divine masculine's like oh here you know this is how i actually feel like, oh. um and i do feel like they they are starting to worry like by the time i show up on this boat <laughs> is my divine feminine still going to be interested here in me so, guys, let me know if this resonated with you. Quite a complex story coming out here, but, um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments here, but this is a, a nervous, divine masculine, a nervous. So when they reach out, and I feel like they will be, this page of coins, you know, knight of cups here, emperor rocking up, it's... So this is the progression this person's going to go from page to night to emperor, okay? But when they first show up, I feel like they're going to be really quite nervous here. So just try and kind of treat them uh, delicately, you know? Just despite how they've treated you in the past and things like that. Despite what's going on between you guys, you know? If you're wanting to move this forward, like, just be kind of cautious with this person because it's going to take them a lot to come forward and i feel like they're just going to be in such a delicate state because of things they have been through that you don't actually know about because we did get that moon didn't we there's some really quite traumatic times i feel like this person's been through and you don't know so um you know you just be your usual gracious self here queen of coins you're you're loving you know self here uh be in that energy with this person because i i just feel they've struggled quite a lot here so yeah let me know if this resonated guys